Hi right, YouTube, this has been back uh, part two in the uh, series here, um, 300 Winchester Magnum, again this is Savage uh, Model 110 BA, and Chamber 300 Win Mag of course, um, just got back from the first day in the field, um, did, some, uh, uh, did some shooting at 100 yards with um, the Hornady, Hornady reloads, or Hornady uh, 208 grains, that was the first one we did, and as you can see, I uh, started, uh, got a pretty good group down here on the bottom right. We shot the corners and shot the center, um, just side the, just side the scope in and, and it hit some groups. But uh, started the loads at uh, 70 and a half grain, 71, 71 and a half, 72. I also shot 72 and a half and two shots at 73, but I'll show you over here. Um, once we, once we found paper, uh, we shot these two at, uh, these were just junk loads I just want to get on paper with. And then I started groups at 70 and a half grain. Um, we were aiming at that top corner there, and that's where we grouped that. We just left the windage the same, left the dope the same in the scope for all four of these corners, but we shot the corners. So 71 grains started tightening up a little bit. 71 and a half, about the same group. And then you see what it did at 72 grains. Um, there's five shots in that group. Uh, with one obviously there's always one that does it so um, went ahead and uh, switched uh, targets out and bumped it on up to the 72 and a half and 73 but uh, there uh, we only got through five of the uh, five of those and three of the others and the pattern started to open back up I'm not even gonna I didn't even bring the other one home I stopped but uh, after the 72s you know, on up, it started opening back up again. Pattern closed down, pattern started opening it up. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the 72 grain. Uh, and that's H1000. Um, H1000 powder, 70 or 208 grain Hornady AMAX. Open, open the deal up real quick. That's this. Stuff performed pretty well today. Also have the uh, IMR7828 Hornady's book. Hornady's book says uh, that's the 8th edition says that 7828 performs pretty well it was their best powder that they had but that, that hot that you know Hodges and H1000 did well for us today um, of course uh, that was the you can't even see it 208 uh, 208 a max I also loaded some 190s I um, didn't get a chance to shoot those today but uh, we'll try them out um, one of these times going out also got the 168s and the 178s down there so I'll uh, give them all a shot and uh, see how they group, but but uh, I've heard you know a couple couple different forums online, um, pretty pretty solid about the uh, the 208s. Um, I was happy with it. They got a one to ten twist in the in the uh, 110 here. Um, I was very happy with the rifle. Uh, it, I had uh, started out on a 223. It was a Savage bolt gun, just 223 with an accu trigger. Um, had it on a bipod, and actually started out with this same millet scope on it. Tried the millet. TRS and this is the Millet LRS. Um, not uh, huge fans of the scope, but for the price, you know, 450 bucks, you, you really can't beat that. Um, I had had uh, great, you know, glared optics out to uh, probably probably be able to stretch this to uh, you know the thousand fifteen hundred if you uh, if you needed to. But again, the, the optics and the way the the scope performs mechanically, you can read plenty of reviews on online about scopes and long range, but. Not uh, not exactly what we were looking for out to long range, but um, started on the 223, uh, moved up to a 6.5 Grendel, and now the 300 Win Mag. But the the weight of this the weight of this rifle, this rig, um, and you know, coupled with that big old muzzle brake on the end, that's uh, it, it kicks just it kicks less than the 6.5 Grendel. Um, I'd, I'd compare it to a 223. My wife, who shoots a 410, you know, youth model, have no problem shooting this rifle. Um, you know, again, the weight, the weight of the rifle with that break, uh, even shooting these these heavy loads, um, no kick whatsoever. You know, relative to the size of the the uh, cartridge. So, very happy with the setup. Very happy with the rig. Um, you know, this is our first day out in the middle of Ohio. It was a 30 degree day. Uh, pulled the weather and stuff like that. So I'll start my books on uh, the 300 here. But you know, can't uh, can't complain too much with that uh, group at 100 yards. So. Um, not trying to tell you what to do, but just showing you where I started and where I wound up 
Uh, again, 72 grain uh, Amax 208s uh, performed pretty well for us today. So, hope that helps you out. Uh, more to follow here. I'll follow up with the the 190s, 178s, 168s, and we'll be playing with this load, playing with the brass. And then uh, next time we go out, I'll be loading up a bunch of 208s and and stretching some dope out and see what we can't get. Uh, I think we've got I think we've got ground out to about uh, 1,200 yards. Um, so. We'll see how many uh, how many rounds I can afford to get loaded up here soon, and uh, hopefully I can post something to be helpful to y'all um, in the future. So, all right.